uh, like I kept saying, what is a word that everybody can kind of relate to as the sort of the way, you know, and an artist can relate to the way, a scientist can relate to the way, a physicist can relate to the way, an entrepreneur can relate to the way, a mystic can relate to the way. We all recognize that there is this sort of ineffable, transcendent guidance, if you will, that exists between the lines of our physical existence. It is sort of what makes up consciousness. Another expression of the way is life. Life is the opposite of entropy. Anything that's that's full of life becomes more organized. Anyway, I felt like we need to change the way we're talking about this and recognize that we may be more open. We may have that spark of genius that we're open to, but if we're not honoring that, if we're just going crazy, being free, letting the chips fall where they may, then we become really arrogant. There is something I think we need to bow to. I think we need to bow to the truth. I think we need to bow to some higher truth that is beyond our own consciousness to comprehend. And I believe that the way is an expression of that truth. The way is sort of, we can't know the whole way, but we can sort of sense where the truth is leading us. And that's why I thought way seers. And I didn't call us way doers, because we still have that choice. We might see the way, but are we following it? Are we honoring it? Are we doing what the way calls us to do? So you might see the way, but are you, are you honoring it? And, and that's our challenge as way seers, is to honor the way, to honor our highest calling, to really become that uh, force of goodness in the world. And the only way to do that without becoming egoic or egotistical or really misguided or some agent of chaos is to recognize that there is this kind of transcendent truth that we can tune into. And when we do, that truth guides us. And when we don't, we become a force of entropy or chaos. And and that's right. And, and this this name Wasty really has, as far as I can tell, its roots in that. I mean, yeah. the Tao means the way, and a seer yeah. in, in in Hinduism is a rishi, and, yep. and a maharishi is a great seer. So I, I can see that how you comprise that, how you put that together. Right. I just want to interject yeah, there, just to make this, you know, Jesus Christ was, you know, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He described early Christianity as the way, and the Buddha described. You know, the Dharma, which loosely translated is, is the way. And you said the Tao, like every great spiritual master recognizes and honors the way and in their own language usually comes close to saying something of that nature. And so I just wanted to put that out there just so people don't feel like, well, if they're Christian, they, you know, they can't subscribe to this Wacy or ideology because it's it doesn't, you know, jive with their faith. I'm Christian and, you know. The way I interpret the way is, you know, on an intensely personal level is a very Christian expression of that. But then I also know that the most truly Christian way to engage with the world is to respect other people's hearts and souls and journeys and not to like try to push some sort of ideology on others because that's not that's not the way either. We're all coming together. We all have our own uh, spiritual path. But at the same time, I think we're all honoring the highest truth we have access to. And that, that brings us all into alignment.